what happens before we start filming. Hey, what's going on everybody? Today, I'm excited because we have some beautiful ribeye steaks. Picked those up at the market the other day. We're gonna be cooking those up tonight. And with those ribeye steaks, we're gonna be making some chimichurri, okay? So I'm super excited to show you guys this. Uh, of course, hit that like, hit that subscribe. We wanna make sure that you guys know when we have new content, new tips, tricks, recipes, things like that coming out. Um, and of course, make sure you guys join us for a happy hour. It's 3.30 uh, Pacific Standard Time. Every Sunday, we have a new cocktail. Uh, today, we had uh, gin and tonics, and we also had a, uh, we had gin and tonics and Negronis, and they came out fantastic. So we love sharing love with you guys on Sundays during that, doing our little happy hour. Uh, just like before, in my last videos, we're gonna be using my trusty A3500 Vitamix. This is the one I use in the demo, this is my own personal machine, love it very much. And I'll tell you, all my friends and family, this is the one to get. It's a top line model. You're not gonna regret it. Obviously, you're gonna keep the thing forever, okay? Now, let's dive into the ingredients here. Come on over here. So, what we have here is we have a, uh, so we have red onion, we have jalapeno, garlic, nice big garlic, cloves, uh, red wine vinegar, cilantro, we have the parsley, oregano, straight out of the garden, a uh, little bit of salt to taste, and some extra virgin olive oil, okay? That's all you're gonna need today to get that chimichurri absolutely perfect, okay? So let's go ahead and dive into um, what we're gonna need here, okay? So we're gonna be using the uh, 64 ounce low profile container. First thing that I recommend that you do is mix the olive oil and the vinegar together first. So that way you can get those emulsified. And then we're going to take these little guys here and we're gonna chop those up and then add it to it because the chimichurri has texture to it. So if we just throw everything in all at once, unfortunately, it's just gonna blend everything down into more of a, I don't wanna say a paste, but it's gonna be kinda of like a paste, you know, really, okay? All right, let's go ahead and get mixing everything together. So we have three quarters cup of the olive oil. So let's go ahead and get that in there. Half a cup of the red wine vinegar. So we're gonna start with this. Let's go ahead and mix this up. And then we're gonna cut a few of these things down to size, especially uh, primarily the jalapeno, and then go ahead and chop off the end of that red onion. Now we don't have to let this blend for very long, so I'm only gonna run this about 20 seconds on the high speed uh, setting there. So we'll go ahead and turn the dial, press that plus button till this reads 20 seconds. Okay, there we are. And then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna press play and crank that off. All right, so that's gonna emulsify. That means uh, it's not gonna be separating as we go ahead and add in the rest of these ingredients. So what we have here is we have parsley and cilantro. Um, normally you would chop these up if you were mixing this by hand, but we're gonna let the Vitamix do the rest of the work for us. So we have a half a cup of cilantro. We have half a cup of parsley. Now with the oregano, what you're gonna do is you're actually gonna take this and you don't want the stem, you just want the leaves. So you're just gonna hold on to the stem there and slide your hand down. And you'll see that you get the beautiful leaves right there. Perfect, okay? So let's go ahead and do that with the rest of these little guys. So we got those stems out of the way, beautiful. Let's see here, we've got a couple more. Awesome. Okay, so now we have that olive oil and that red wine vinegar mixed together. Let's start adding in everything else. Essentially everything else just needs to be finely chopped, okay? So we're gonna toss in our cilantro, our parsley, we have our oregano. Go ahead, add that in. three cloves of garlic, 
Let's go ahead and take off the end of that onion there. So versus you chopping this stuff by hand, you're just gonna let the machine do the chopping for you. Now, with a jalapeno, depending on how spicy you like it, okay, you can use one, uh, I'm gonna start with half, uh, cause I don't prefer my things to be too spicy. Plus I can always add in a little bit more later. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and open that up and we're gonna take out the seeds. Okay, so we're gonna just use the peel. Beautiful, okay. Now, to use a Vitamix for chopping, just remember the faster the speed, the finer it gets, okay? So if I wanted this to be completely liquefied, I would turn that all the way up. That's not the case with this. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna start at a low speed, speed number one here, and we're gonna press play. And just let that kind of, kind of go for a few seconds. And you can see there, the sizes, I want them a little bit smaller, so we're just gonna turn that up. Now we're on speed number three. Oh, beautiful, but it's doing exactly what we want it to do. A little bit higher, let's go to speed number four. And now you're getting those real finely diced pieces. Number five. Guys, that looks beautiful, doesn't it? All right, I think number six is uh, just about perfect where I want it to be. I love that. 50 seconds, 50 seconds. Chopped everything all up. And look at this. Beautiful, look at the color of that chimichurri. You can't go wrong, you can't go wrong with that. All right, so let's give this a little taste. See how we like it. We may wanna add in just a little bit of salt. Yep. I'm gonna add in just a little bit of salt here. And let that stir in. Beautiful. That's exactly why I want it. Oh my gosh. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna marinate these steaks. Um, I'm gonna have these marinated for about three hours. Uh, so we'll be eating dinner right around seven o'clock tonight. I'm gonna coat them in the marinade, let them chill out and uh, soak, soak in those beautiful flavors. What we're gonna do is we're just gonna pat that dry, toss it onto the Traeger. I'm gonna pull this off at about 128, 130 degrees. And, uh, and then we're gonna take the left uh, chimichurri sauce and we're just gonna put that over the top and it's gonna be a beautiful thing, okay? All right, you guys, thank you for joining me on this video today. Uh, I hope that you make your chimichurri uh, at home in, in your Vitamix or however you like to make it. And I would love for you to comment and let me know, do you have your own rendition of chimichurri or a steak marinade that you make, okay? I love trying things out and I wanna hear from you guys as well. And uh, I hope to see you next Sunday, 3.30, for our happy hour. It's amazing. You can also let us know if there is a spirit or uh, a liquor that you like, uh, or maybe that you are gifted and you're like, I don't know what to do with this, right? Uh, you can let us know what it is and we'll kind of put some stuff together through the week, okay? And see what we can come up with ha for happy hour, something to make your tummy very happy, okay? All right, you guys, hit that like, hit that subscribe. We look forward to hearing from you soon. Thanks.